Most often these days, you will notice that whenever you go to any doctor with an ailment, one of the most commonly asked questions is whether your sunshine vitamin levels are normal. Yes, it's nothing but the big boss of vitamins, vitamin D. Over the past couple of decades, this particular vitamin has come into the spotlight in a very big way. Why? The reason is because this fat-soluble vitamin plays many vital roles in the body and has an impact on many physiological processes also. Its functions are at the molecular level and are very important for many activities in the body. So let's look at what vitamin D does in the body and why there is so much of noise around this particular vitamin. We will be presenting this video to you in two parts, so don't forget to get notified when we post new content. Hit the subscribe button and stay connected with us here. The reason why vitamin D is so important is because of its effects on multiple functions in the body. First, vitamin D enhances the absorption of calcium in the small intestine by increasing the synthesis of calcium binding proteins. So this ensures an adequate supply of calcium for bone health and other physiological functions. Second, vitamin D stimulates the activity of bone forming cells or osteoblasts and regulates the expression of certain genes which are involved in bone mineralization, which is essential for maintaining proper bone density and preventing conditions like osteoporosis. So ladies, this is very important for you. Third, vitamin D regulates the expression of genes involved in cell growth, proliferation and differentiation, which means this will help in the normal development and function of various cells, including immune cells. Fourth, there are genes for everything in the body and vitamin D influences the expression of genes related to our immune system and so it influences our body's immune response helping to defend against infections and regulating inflammatory processes. Fifth, vitamin D may affect the expression of genes involved in cardiovascular health, including those related to blood pressure regulation. And so this vitamin also helps in maintaining blood vessel health and reducing the risk of heart disease. Sixth, it may influence insulin sensitivity by interacting with insulin receptors and affecting insulin signaling pathways and so plays a role in glucose metabolism. Seventh, it was found that vitamin D receptors are present in the brain and it may influence cognitive function and may play a role in neurological disorders also. Similarly, vitamin D receptors are also found in the muscle tissue and are involved in muscle strength and coordination and also contribute to overall physical performance. Finally, it has also been found that it plays a role in hormonal balance and may impact reproductive health. Looking at its wide array of influence on so many systems in the body, you can now see why it is such a crucial vitamin. But research is still on in understanding vitamin D's molecular level functions and ongoing studies continue to reveal new insights into its role in health and disease. But in the meantime, it is important for us to understand how much vitamin D is too low or too much because there is such a thing as too much vitamin D. How to get it naturally and when to supplement. We will delve into this in part two of this video. But in the meantime, if you have any questions about vitamin D, post it in the comments so we can address those as well in part two of this video on vitamin D.